A slate of bills impacting Florida's transgender community now ready for a House vote tomorrow. And one of them is on deck to reach the governor. All the while, Florida homeowners are being hit with higher and higher insurance bills. Tonight, Capitol Reporter for Saunders with how state lawmakers are spending your time and money in Tallahassee. Tuesday. Brought more LGBTQ plus protests outside the House chamber as lawmakers ready to vote on three bills, which some say are an attempt to censor Florida's transgender community. I don't believe it will silence us. I know that we are strong. They've tried to get rid of us before and we're still here. The policies limit male, female public restrooms to biological sex at birth. Another threatens fines and jail time for those allowing minors to view, quote, adult live performances with a general definition. And the last codifies a ban on gender dysphoria treatments, halting hormone therapy and surgery for those under 18. Today is homophobia and transphobia day at the Capitol. Democrats like Rep. Ana Eskamani offered more than 40 different amendments to water down language. Some carved out unwanted provisions. One amendment renamed the live performances policy the quote homophobic and transphobic bill. Candidly, these policies have real life consequences and our amendments are going to highlight that. The GOP supermajority didn't let any through. No! With the exception of one from Representative Randy Fine. He strengthened his gender dysphoria bill with limits on changing the sex on a person's birth certificate, prohibition of private insurance coverage of gender dysphoria treatments for anyone, and bolstered custody powers for parents wanting to prevent a child from getting those treatments. And so the fundamental debate is should childhood be a time of innocence and sheltering or should we force them into the difficult world we all live every day as parents? I know this, I have two of them and I'm going to fight like hell for them. If Fine's amended bill gets through the House on Wednesday, it'll have to go back to the Senate, which may not happen as the session is winding to a close. Look, we've got two more weeks, two and a half more weeks. There's plenty of time. And I think, you know, certain of us believe that um, that some of these issues are very, very important. The clock now ticking as the House readies to vote on these three controversial measures. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.